basic flute support uh, right little finger. First thing is alignment of the foot joint. I've got this set up for my hand so that when my fingers are on the main keys, the three main fingers are on the main keys, my little finger just reaches comfortably onto the C roller and onto the E flat key. It's not reaching for them, it's not pushed back by them. Um, for me that's got the bases of the E flat and C sharp touches roughly in line with the main rod. Um, but that will vary according to your hand and the relative lengths of your fingers. Uh, if you have a, a B foot with a B roller, you might need to roll it back this way a little bit more so that you can reach the B roller comfortably without stretching across. So that's the alignment. Um, support doesn't involve the right little finger. Three points. Right thumb, gently pushing away. Left forefinger, side of, with the flute resting just above the base of the knuckle here. Gently pressing inwards. Not a great deal of force. Just enough to keep the flute there and stable. And what you're doing is you're levering, using those two points, with this one as a pivot, to lever the flute gently against your chin, lower lip, but not with enough force that you have to push against it with your head, which would stress your neck muscles, just enough to keep it there. But that doesn't take a great deal, and as you can see, I can wiggle my fingers, no left thumb, no right little finger, and the flute stays there perfectly stably. I'm not scared of dropping it, and my fingers are all free to move. And when you add the right little finger, it's just enough pressure to open and close that E flat key. It's not pressing down on the flute and it's not particularly adding to the pushing away as your right thumb does, although it's an auxiliary for that. So, just from some different angles, you can see the support, not holding the flute in any way and certainly not gripping it. Oh.